Good evening. Tonight we bring you a special interview over the Malathion breakout from Janairsville, North Carolina. We're here with a chemical agent specialist, Chandler Morgan. Mr. Morgan, can you please fill us in on what Malathion is and its effects? Uh, yes. Um, Malathion is an insecticide that kills insects by preventing their nervous systems from working properly. When healthy nerves send signals to each other, a special chemical messenger travels from one nerve to another to continue the message. The nerve signal stops when an enzyme is released into the space between the nerves. Myofion binds to the enzyme and prevents the nerve signal from stopping. This causes the nerves to signal each other without stopping. The constant nerve signal make it so the insect can't move or breathe normally and they die. People, pets, and other animals can be affected the same way as insects if they are exposed to enough malathion. About the same amount of malathion will be taken into the body whether you breathe it in or you swallow it. Malathion is also readily taken into the body through skin. Though the amount absorbed will depend on where the exposure occurs on the body, Malathion can become more toxic if it has been sitting for a long time, especially in a hot place. What kind of diseases can this cause if exposed to humans? Malathion can cause leukemia, brain damage, kidney damage, birth defects, intestinal disorders in children, human death, birth, birth defects, illness, and death to wildlife. A person who is exposed to high doses of malathion is at a higher risk than one that is exposed to low doses. A study in Florida shows the effects of low doses of malathion on unborn children. Children born to pregnant women that were exposed to this chemical have a higher rate of learning disabilities. Have people been affected by the outbreak? If so, how many? Health officials have confirmed that approximately 20 people from the town of Janairsville were infected with the virus. They believed it was encephalitis. This is the first known outbreak of the West Nile virus in the Eastern Hemisphere. Janairsville health officials were talking to me yesterday and they told me that a five-year-old girl died and she was the fifth person to die from a form of the West Nile virus. How is this disease being spread? The disease is spread by mosquitoes that bite infected birds and then bite people. And dozens of crows have been found dead around the area, although it is still not known what they died of. Meanwhile, as many as eight dead horses have been found way out in the sticks of Janairsville, North Carolina. Authorities are investigating whether they were infected with the virus. Uh, Malathion is uh, moderately toxic to birds and highly toxic to aquatic invertebrates. The aquatic stages of amphibians and to honeybees. 90% of the dose to birds was metabolized and excreted within 24 hours via urine. Fish have a wide range of toxicities to malathion extending from very high toxic for the walleye to highly toxic for brown trout and the cutthroat trout, moderately toxic for fathead minnows and slightly toxic for goldfish. Various aquatic uh, invertebrates are sensitive. Whole body analysis of pinfish show the presence of malathion, mono and dicarboxylate acids, but no maloxin. What do you assume the townspeople feel about the decision to spray malathion? If you are upset at the county's decision to spray malathion, with practically no warning. This pesticide poses its own health risks, including cancer. Just a couple of years ago, the discovery of Mediterranean fruit flies in the Tampa area prompted the United States Department of Agriculture to spray malathion in urban areas. Angry residents organized against the spraying and demanded that officials provide advanced information and consult with communities before 
time is great, yeah. And our last question is, what would you like to say to the city of Janairsville on the use of Mellon Island? The, uh, the city of Janairsville has asked me to make the deciding vote on whether or not to use the chemical agent. The people of Janairsville, I am proud and honored to have the final say so in this. And I vote not to use Mellon Island anywhere near your town. Janairsville has many people that come to visit, and with this issue being harmful to everything and everyone, including insects, it's too high of a risk. Instead, you guys should use your second option and use the donated money to create educational classes. In these classes, you should inform the tourists to how to avoid exposure to mosquitoes and educate them on reasons why you guys decided not to use the chemical agent, Mount Bion. Mount Bion would scare your tourists away. 